Jürgen, in your early seasons here, your record in the FA Cup and League Cup wasn't, wasn't great. And maybe people... <laughs> it's nice. It's, it's a nice way to describe it. Yeah. I mean, the first year we were not that... We lost in West Ham, right? Yeah. In extra time. Yeah. Pretty sure. But that was not bad. Wasn't as good as the Premier League and the Champions League, which were the That's true. priorities. Um, and people unfairly might have questioned your unfairly might have questioned your, your attitude. But I just want in all honesty, now you've been in England a few years, has your appreciation of the FA Cup and the League Cup sort of grown maybe? Has it changed your, your attitude towards it? It's actually the first time that somebody that, that people question my attitude. Usually they question my technical abilities and stuff like this, but never question my attitude. Um, no, my attitude didn't change. Um, the, not at all. If you look at my German history, most of the finals I lost, and it's still a big number, I lost in the German Cup final. So, we obviously, the, when you have the players available, like for both competitions in this case, or three competitions, in, in, in the case, uh, then, then it's okay, then you can do it. If not, you have to make changes where people think, oh, is, why is he doing that? Because we come back to the, pop on, to the point, with all my knowledge, I, I asked the players for an awful lot, but that's until a specific point, and then take them out. Because now, they, even if they want, they should not be in a situation that they have to deliver again. That's it. And that's why we had changes. And we, uh, we said it before, it's not that I will put it out, that we were always unlucky, but we had not the best draw as well. It's not that we thought, oh, that's cool, let's go to Chelsea away, play a United away or stuff like this. It's now not exactly what you want to have. Or Chelsea at home in a situation where we didn't have the players and stuff like that. So, no, attitude didn't change. Um, was, I was, wanted always to go to Wembley, it just didn't happen. So really it's, it's the fact that you can make changes and be your second, your changes can still be strong, that's the difference. Yeah, not changes for the FA Cup, the changes in between that we have for the FA Cup, so like for a league game you make changes and stuff like this and then you have for the FA Cup the players available. You need a specific amount of senior players available that you can bring in the young guns. So if you have to play only with young guns, then it's, then it's really tricky. Uh, we had to do that as well from time to time. But um, it's then really difficult. Um, so the, the mix makes a difference, actually. Jürgen, you seem was involved in quite a lot of exciting games early in the season, which you probably didn't enjoy as much a lot of goals either way. But since then, sort of really found a defensive solidity that's led to you going far in all four competitions. I think it's five five goals conceded in the last sixteen games. So, what what changed there? What what got better to to sort of you know, start keeping these clean sheets more regularly. I would always say we had we had to readjust our defensive structure again after no centre half played pretty much for a full season. How we work together, it's, it, the way we defend is a it's not, it's not special, but it's. Uh, quite front-footed, let me say like this, and to get there, you leave, you, you leave sometimes two big spaces in between the lines, it's not all of us are ready to to step up, and um, that's why we had, to, we had to become solid again, and uh, that's what we, what we were working on, it was not horrible, our defensive record obviously, but it was not as good as it could have been, because we had all to readjust, the, the Two center, one and a half who was new, and two and a half who didn't play for ages, and the one and a half was new didn't play for a while as well, and his old club was injured as well, um, and that's obviously really important that everything works together, that we are fine tuned there. It's an easy explanation. It's not, it was not bad defending, it's just not as good as as we were used to, and. Um, since we, and it's obviously not on the last line, it's exactly the same for midfield and, and, and for the front line, but since that is, um, looks better tuned again, we defend better. But we still needed five goals in 16 games. We have uh, uh, how many blocks did we have in a, in a decisive moment? Robo, I think, had two good re ball recoveries in the, in the six yard box. Ali had a massive save, so they're all in. Then we have nine goals in 16 games, it doesn't sound too well, too good anymore, so um, it comes all together. It's, it's 
the most important thing we have to get used to each other again. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Um, you, Rob was another one of those players that's played 40 odd games this season. <coughs> you mentioned Scotland having. Last six in the summer. I can't believe that. Yeah. It, um, <laughs> you mentioned the Poland friendly, uh, which has been arranged um, next week. I, I, are you hoping that Steve Clark uses a bit of common sense? I know he's, I know he's Scotland captain, Robbo, but are you hoping that Steve Clark uses a bit of common sense and doesn't play him for the 90 minutes if he plays him at all? Yes, very much. Yeah. Good. I, have you, do you have a conversation with him about it? or? No, no I, I just thought if I ever had contact with him. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't think so. No, but we have definitely no contact about that. Yeah. Um, I can ask you a second question. You, you mentioned earlier on about um, uh, maybe a, a young option in, instead of Trent on, on Sunday. Um, Connor, Connor Bradley's. Um, um, he's a young option, yeah. Yeah, he's, 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 he's done well when he's come in. Can you just assess his development, how he's getting on just now? How he's playing? Connor. Top boy, yeah. always. Was now last week because we had a full squad, was not with us all the time, obviously. And uh, this fellow where he was pretty much in all sessions with us, but now, but not now uh, in the last few weeks. Um, and that, so I cannot say now exactly how he developed in the last few weeks because he was not here, but I, from the things I know and what I saw, uh, a wonderful, talented um, boy with a big heart. Uh, a real fighter, and um, it's a joy to have him around. So that's what I can say. Thank you, everyone. That's it. Okay. <laughs> See you next time. I like to say the most quick, but. See you.